there's a lot of attention that gets paid to sort of the external part of one's existence, you know, being black, being a woman, being an American. And then there's the quality of just being. Being a body so overburdened with history and ideas about identity, shoulds and shouldn'ts, and abuses, this sort of rending away of identity from body, that is a reoccurring question. Part of my upbringing and my personality has been, don't never let them see you sweat. And this is, you know, from the perspective of, you know, being black in America, you might be talking to somebody who will kill you. You might be talking to somebody who doesn't see you as a human. You might be talking to somebody who, yeah, who somehow has psychically destroying you as you speak. This show so much self-revelation of many selves that are bumping up against the burdens of being a black woman in America. And the black hole is what remains. There's archetypes, and those archetypes have materialized in American culture in stereotypical depictions, and those stereotypical depictions means that the humanity of people who are Black and women get slotted into a kind of pen that is very difficult to escape. In a way, these drawings represent for me this attempt to go back in time or to sort of retrace my steps. I think in the hope of maybe ask others to help me in that process. Mm -hmm. what, what is it? Not necessarily what am I, but what are, are all of these aspects of culture that have produced this being or this monster, I'm not sure. I think drawing-wise, process is the, the one thing that provides an element of pleasure, <laughs> you know, and it's, it almost feels perverse to enact that, but it's, it is joyful and there's always a conflict for me and that the conflict gets resolved when I actually just go ahead and do it because I think, oh, I am, I am all this. I am all this and sometimes more, you know. It's obsessive and all-consuming, the thing that, that binds you to coming back again and again to making these gestures of art or of drawing when you think that this time will open up the door to understanding, but it just opens another door and another door and another door. The challenging thing about making drawings or doing any art or even making big monumental pieces is that you begin to believe that you can make anything happen, affect a, a heart, and then stepping back and seeing this war that seems to live in the, in the heart of the, of the beast, you know, in the heart of America. That is the sort of essential tension present in the world, you know, this sort of seeking for solace and for resolutions and for joy and happiness, and then the sort of like persistent uh, reminders that it is not to be yours, <laughs> it's not to be had, that it is, uh, doesn't that sound terrible? <laughs> doesn't that sound terrible? I shouldn't draw and talk at the same time. Mm -hmm.